Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we're going to have breakfast at the Three Broomsticks. So we'll see what they have here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter breakfast wise. They have a lot of selections and choices. So let's go have some food. traditional English breakfast, and that comes with fresh scrambled eggs, sausage links, black pudding, English bacon, which is more like ham, baked beans, grilled tomatoes, sauteed mushrooms, and breakfast potatoes. And then it also comes with a croissant and butter. All right, let's dig into the beans. So you know how baked beans taste? They just taste like baked beans without the brown sugar maple sort of flavor. They're very good, not super salty. All right, potatoes. It tastes like there's thyme in here and there's some onion mixing with the potatoes. They almost taste like potatoes you would fry in like a cast iron skillet or something like that. Very, very good potatoes. The Three Broomsticks has fantastic potatoes uh, for lunch and now for breakfast. Also on the traditional English breakfast are mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms. Super flavorful. If you like mushrooms, they taste like mushrooms. Really nice mushroom flavor. Not overly seasoned. Very good. And you get fresh scrambled eggs, which are just basic scrambled eggs. You can ask for salt and pepper if you need it. Actually, these taste really well seasoned. They taste like they're cooked in butter and that they're also salted. All right, let's try these sausage links. As you can probably tell, I'm avoiding the black pudding or black sausage <laughs> until last. But here is the sausage link. It just tastes like a basic pork sausage breakfast link, but basic is good. Let's taste the English bacon, which looks like Canadian bacon, but it's actually a combination of American and Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon is cut from the loin on the back of a pig, whereas American style bacon is cut from the belly side of the pig. And English bacon is kind of a combination of the two. And to be honest, it doesn't really taste like much. It must be because of the seasoning, because American bacon is loaded with salt. Canadian bacon is just a really nice, delicious flavor. I also don't like tomatoes, but I'm gonna try this for you guys. It's not bad. Looks like it has some cheese crumbles on top, and it's just, I guess, a basic grilled tomato. All right, guys, here's the black pudding. I'm gonna try this for you, even though I don't want to. I have had black pudding before, and I did not love it, but I have not had it here. If you don't know what black pudding is, it's made with blood, blood of an animal, and, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, I at least got the flavors before I spit it out, but it's also made with fat and meat as well as oats and seasonings. I got like almost a cinnamon or nutmeg flavor. All right, the last thing that comes with the traditional English breakfast is a buttered croissant. A good buttered croissant. Now all of the breakfasts are $17.99. They also have a kids option, just a smaller platter for $12.99. And all of the breakfast options come with a drink or a beverage, which is great. So you can choose one of the beverage options. This is orange juice. They have orange juice as an option. Looks very pulpy. It's just like a standard Tropicana type of orange juice. Very good though. All right, let's move down the line on the menu and that would mean the porridge breakfast. So you get porridge, some brown sugar to put on top, some butter for your croissant and your porridge, as well as a variety of fruits, including watermelon, honeydew, pineapple, and some orange slices. I'm gonna try it without the brown sugar first. It's just a basic oatmeal. Let's put a little brown sugar on top. Nothing special, no fancy flavors. The brown sugar certainly lifts up this breakfast meal. But it's just a basic oatmeal, which is good. 
So this would be considered a vegetarian option. Basic orange, although it probably is a Florida orange, which is cool. A very good, juicy orange. I'm not much of a melon fan, but the pineapple is a nice little addition. Next up is the continental breakfast, which comes with an array of fruit, a scone, and a buttered croissant with a variety of different jams to try. Now I have to admit something to you guys, I did not purchase the continental breakfast because I knew I was getting the porridge breakfast, so what I did was I bought a scone on the side and just added it to the plate of the porridge breakfast and took the porridge out because it's the exact same meal, although what we are missing is the assortment of jams. So we tried the fruit from the porridge breakfast, let's just try the scone and see how that tastes. It looks like a blueberry scone. Here's the scone on the inside, very soft. Mmm, good. It's a very good scone. It's a little bit more bready than I would think for a scone, but still very, very good. Another one of the beverage options is apple juice. And similar to the orange juice, it's just basic apple juice, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Basic apple juice is good apple juice. In addition to those drink or beverage options, they also have pumpkin juice on tap, which I think is better than the pumpkin juice in the bottle. It just has a better flavor. Mm. It's very sweet. It tastes like Thanksgiving or even Christmas. It almost has like a spiced apple juice with a mixture of like pumpkin pie. They also have hot tea, milk, chocolate milk, and my beverage of choice, fresh brewed coffee. All right, what's next? We have the American breakfast, and the American breakfast comes with American bacon, sausage links, fresh scrambled eggs, breakfast potatoes, and a buttered croissant. Different from this dish compared to the traditional English breakfast is the bacon, and I'm assuming I'm going to like this one. And I do. We Americans love our salt. So back to the eggs, they are really, really fluffy. They really have a great flavor to them. They have to be cooked in butter, really well seasoned. They put them next to the breakfast potatoes and the flavors of the potatoes kind of mix with the eggs. It's just really, really good. The breakfast, just like the rest of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter food, is really, really good. If you've seen my other Wizarding World of Harry Potter food videos or mukbang videos, you know that the food is like really good for theme park food. It's well flavored, it's well prepared, it's just impressive. And the breakfast is no different. All right, last but not least is the pancake breakfast. And who doesn't like pancakes? I'm sure there are some of you who don't like pancakes, but who doesn't like pancakes? So let's give the Wizarding World of Harry Potter's pancakes a try. The pancakes come with breakfast syrup, so it's not real maple syrup, it's just high fructose corn syrup and flavoring that tastes like maple syrup. Looks like a very fluffy pancake. It's just a basic pancake, but like a good basic pancake. I'm gonna try it without the syrup. Very nice balance of sweet and buttery and a good pancake. The pancake breakfast also comes with the breakfast sausage links, as well as American bacon and a buttered croissant. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon, syrup, and pancake and eat it. Of those five breakfast options, the four that I actually tried, in my opinion, from worst to best, continental breakfast, which was the fruit and the scone, although the scone was really, really good. Actually, no, I'm changing it. In my opinion, from worst to best, and none of them are really bad, but I would choose the porridge breakfast as my number five. It's just basic oatmeal, comes with a variety of fresh fruits, as well as a buttered croissant. My number four pick would be the continental breakfast, which also comes with a variety of fruit, a buttered croissant, as well as a blueberry scone. The scone is really, really good, which is why I put this above the porridge breakfast. And normally I prefer eggs and bacon for my breakfast option, but if you are a vegetarian or if you don't like traditional breakfast foods, this is a good option for you if you're coming with friends or other Harry Potter fans who do enjoy breakfast, you can get yourself a scone and a buttered croissant and some fresh fruit. My number three is the American breakfast. And the reason it's my number three is because I love pancakes. So even though it's served with bacon and eggs, I do prefer the pancake breakfast because it has bacon and pancakes with it. So the American breakfast is going to be my number three spot. Number two is the pancake breakfast. So as I mentioned, I prefer pancakes for breakfast. And these are really good pancakes. My number 
number one, which is the traditional English breakfast. It comes with a really large variety of different food options. And what's cool about it is it's a traditional English breakfast. So this is what you would eat in England. I've been to England and this is pretty much the exact same plate that I received when I ate my English breakfast. So if you really want to dive into Harry Potter's world at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you definitely need to try the English breakfast. Even if you just take a taste of the blood pudding, just to have that experience and the food that they, they eat is worth it. And you can spit it right back out if you don't like it. Now the Leaky Cauldron, which is on the Diagon Alley or Universal Studios side. Right now I'm in Universal Studios other park, Islands of Adventure, which is the Hogsmeade side, which is where Hogwarts is located. Instead of the Continental and the Porridge Breakfast, they have an apple oatmeal flan. It's a freshly baked flan of apples and oatmeal. They also have an egg, leek, and mushroom pasty, which is a pastry wrapped with eggs, leeks, and mushrooms, and it is served with breakfast potatoes and seasonal fruit. I hope that this video was enjoyable, as well as helpful if you are planning a trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, anything you saw in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. My name is Adrian. My name is Jacqueline, and we're from Nebraska. Keep collecting. Okay, now I can eat all the foods. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?